party, a whoopee party, a party that'll welcome in a happy new year. Lots of hot shots and gobs of hot shots. The Burbank want to welcome in a happy new year. I'm having the time of my life. Isn't that my husband there who's kissing your wife? Oh, well, such a party, a perfect party. We'll even run around with all the gifts and beer. A perfect party to welcome. Why is that? Well, he doesn't have a party to go to. <laughs> Did I tell you? <laughs> Ruth, in the 60s, pollution really got bad. Now, how much more waste can industry dump into the air? Oh, I don't know, Dan. I guess the sky's the limit. I, <laughs> I hear the Republicans are having a New Year's party at the White House, and they're going to play their favorite game. Pin the rap on the donkey. <laughs> Say, Dick, my wife, and my doctor lives by the hypocritic oath. That's funny, my doctor lives by the candy store. Oh, Dick, that's the Hippocratic oath. Oh! <laughs> I'm glad you're sad. What happened to Lou, Goldie? Well, he took a walk through Central Park and two delinquent midgets stole his kneecaps. <laughs> oh, my resolution is to change the old me in a completely new person, Dick. Crazy, baby. Yeah. Let's go up to my place and we'll ring out the old and ring in the new. <laughs> last New Year? Oh, at Fire Island, it was wild. At the stroke of midnight, this guy ran out and jumped into a fruitcake. <laughs> different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dan. Hi. Do you know what happened this year? What? Prices went up. They did? Why do you say that? Well, I went to Christmas shop at a department store, and the bargain basement was on a third floor. Wait a minute. I'm very careful about my New Year's Eve drinking. I always stop after the third. Oh, really, Dan? Yes. That's funny, because so do I. But fortunately for us, this year, the third falls on a Saturday. Oh, what? <laughs> what a party, a lovely 